Alright. Yes, move the lever. And make this place incredibly, incredibly noisy. Alright, cool. So yeah, like I said, the, this section is not so bad if you do know what you're doing, but if you don't know what you're doing, there's a lot of backtracking uh, here. And that's not a good thing because of that corridor with the moss. So I'm going to try and do this with the least amount of backtracking. But here we go, restoring electrical power. And let there be light. <laughs> don't yeah. you all have to, no, nothing to worry about. That was God. I was quoting God there. Oh yeah, I've been playing Portal lately. Portal 2 to be exact. And that game is fantastic. If you haven't played it, if you haven't played any of the Portal games, you want to pick that shit up. You want to play that game because it's just brilliant. Some of the dialogue in that game is some of the funniest dialogue I've ever heard in a video Where game. Where do I get my gun? I, uh... I don't have any bullets. And you gonna give me bullets? Are there bullets up there? You Here's know, it's, it's pretty time. challenging too. I mean, the beginning of the game, I didn't have all that much difficulty with it. Because if you play Portal 1, then you kind of sort of know what you're doing. So, some of the puzzles, not that challenging. But, um, later on in the game, it really does ramp up the difficulty. I mean, I remember, go it's practically every room I was walking into. It was like, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? This is making my brain hurt so badly. So, so badly. And But you know, in a good way, because you like to be challenged in video games. You don't like it when a video game's too easy, right? What is this, like a hobby for you now? I mean, honestly... So yeah, um, it's around about... Well, I hear it was around about five hours of gameplay, because the first portal was actually really short. And I actually took, I think it was like nine hours to finish the game, which is kind of a bit embarrassing, but oh well. But like I said, uh, the first second of the game, I kind of rushed through that. I didn't have any problems with it. It was just the second half of the game, really. Moth, Moth, you're dead. Yeah, see, they're easy to take out, but you just want to make sure that they don't get you. And here's the plant that I was talking about over here. Basically... Um, it's an unlimited supply of blue herbs, but you can only use it there and then. You can't actually take the blue herbs with you, so... You have to make sure to... Oh, damn you, Moth, I'm just gonna run past you. Yeah, you have to make sure, if you're poisoned, to get back to that blue plant, uh, which is kind of annoying. Because the Moths basically have two ways to poison you. They can either... Um, you know, poison you right there and there with their spore. Or they can plant an egg on you. That's the annoying one out of the two because if they do that, then you have to wait for the egg to hatch before, the, you know, having to go back to the blue planter, which means you can't do it immediately. You have to run back there when that egg hatches, so... I'm going to try my best uh, to make sure that does not happen. Oh, cool, check this out. Cool new camera angle style. It's like freaking Res 4, man. Who game should have been like this? Alright, there's obviously something in there. Let's invest. Oh! Stupid mouse. Screw you, mouse. Get the hell out of here. Go on. Stupid mouse. I For some reason, I thought that was hilarious first time I saw that. Butler's letter. Another one? Sir Alfred. Please forgive me, as I must tell you of an abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Sir a uh, Lord Alexander, and have so shed in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago, and the accident during the experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age, and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all your family members at once. There was nothing I could do, and I felt powerless. At first I thought I should kill myself to apologize. What? Kill yourself to apologize? That's a bit... Yeah, that's a bit extreme. I then realized I would be an it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. Scott Harmon, Butler, Ashford family. Alright, so that would be the second letter from Scott Harmon. 
Right. Um, if you did not pa uh, if you did not get the generator and return power to this place, then the switch wouldn't work. Basically, that's why we had to do that first. So, yeah, this is sort of the second reason why I particularly hate this safe room out of all the others. Yeah, let's look what's in here. Yeah, there's, a f there's something in here. There's something else in here. And Claire looks kind of freaked out by that thing. Yeah, that thing's freaky as shit, man. I hate that thing, I'll tell you. I really do hate this thing, because you can just be standing here for however long. And... Yeah, as you can hear, every now and again, that thing will just scream, so... Yeah, that's not a good thing. Do I have inventory speed? Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just pick up this green herb and... Oh, what? Take the pot plant. Take the plant pot. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a... I think this is meant as a joke, like a well-placed joke in a serious game. Because I thought this was funny first time I saw this. It's like... Because when this thing is on the floor, it does actually look like a green herb, but you pick it up, it's like, plant pot? What the hell? A plant pot appears to be an ordinary one. So yeah, that's great. Oh, 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 it does actually have a use. There's a key at the bottom of the pot plant. Okay, machine room key. Very useful. Yes, I've already investigated that thing. But we have one more room to explore in the area we was just at, so... Right, um... Yeah, we're gonna actually be needing this. And we're gonna be needing... These? Do I actually have more? Oh, yeah, there we go. We're good. Um... I don't think I need to deposit anything because... Oh shit, I need my... I was gonna equip the grenade launcher, but I remembered... I just remembered there were moths out here, and... That would not be a good idea. Alright, where are they? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just one more. Kinda wanna try and run past that one. Nope. So yeah, um, it could feel like wasting ammo taking out these guys because they respawn, but... Trust me... Running past them is almost impossible without getting attacked, and when you get attacked, there's a high chance of getting poisoned, and, you know, it's just easier to use a handgun, so. Yeah, it sort of makes the whole process a lot more tolerable. B-O-W. Alright. This has some new enemies, too. This room has some new enemies. Gas mask lock releases if a gas, lock, uh, gas leak occurs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Some of the more traditional Resident Evil enemies other than zombies, obviously. Spiders! And Claire, you look so cool with that grenade launcher, I have to say. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was a pretty cool animation, her reloading that thing. And Claire, you look badass with some of these weapons. I have to admit. You're looking pretty cool. What's this? Oh, fine, I'll pick it up. What? Yeah. Oh, fuck you! Yeah, you can't actually get that one that's under the grid there. Or at least I don't think you can. Barcode sticker. Yeah, this is for stuff later on in the game. Alright, first time I played this game, I actually thought this web was breakable. If you played Remake, then you'd, you know, you'd get the idea this web is breakable but as you can see apparently this particular web is made out of steel that is not good oh. all right so yeah I'll re equip this reload this yeah this barcode stick is for shit I cannot stop coughing I'm gonna have to edit out the coughs because I'm doing it too often during this recording session. Um, I have to make my way to the center. All right, okay, it's around the other way. Yeah, um, the side quest, it's optional. 
this business right here. All right, um, <laughs> I was just trying to figure out the order to do it. So barcode sticker right there. Um, if you did not, if you do not have the fire extinguisher in your inventory whilst you're doing this, then it's kind of pointless doing this little section that we're doing right here. Because you kind of need that. I will show you for why later, but... If you do have the extinguisher, then you might want to do what we're doing right now, because it will be pretty damn handy later on. But... You know, it's not impossible to finish the game without doing what I'm doing right here, so don't worry too much about it. Right, it's actually this way. Yeah, we're done. We are done. I just need to nip into the safe room, deposit the grenade launcher, because we're done with that. And so far, you moths have not been a problem. And you're getting too close. Stay still! Are you poison clear? No, I'm not supposed to do this, but you can shoot some. Right, that's yeah, that's the only problem. The every time they attack you, you have to check your inventory, see if you're poisoned. Did my hand help? It nah, it really is, sucks. It? Yo, moth. Oh. You things are annoying. I'm just gonna run past you. Alright. I think we are done with absolutely everything on the lower floor for now, so... Honestly, I'd, I'd have a little lie down if I were you. Have a nap. We're all good, folks. We are all good. Alright, you go there. And... Yeah, because we need quite a lot of inventory space. So, we are heading back upstairs. Right, some of these rooms upstairs, you could explore them. Like, as soon as we got here, but... Wow, shit. No, 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 no. Hello, Fucking eggs. Imbecile. Yeah, they planted one on me. No, you can... Stop freaking attacking me. Right. Okay, I got bloody egg on me. 